Hey everybody, so um, this is going to be a reading for Taurus, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July. I know I've been a little late on Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, and Aquarius, but um, the month took an interesting turn. So Taurus, without any further delay, let's go ahead and see what's going on in your July. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Again, if you want to skip the shuffling portion, do so. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You won't be disappointed. And thank you to any returning Taurus viewers who have not abandoned the kids. So let's see what's going on for July, Taurus. Taurus July. For the remainder of July, what's going on with Taurus? So Taurus, I have the five of wands here. I don't know if there's been any commotion or any kind of chaos, but there's been something here where you feel like you have been dealing with a lot of people who may feel like they have um, some kind of game or competition going on with you, or you may be competing for something in some kind of sense, some kind of contest. But I see you being victorious. I see you being positive. I see you really standing out here in the sun, probably in Leo season, things are going to take an amazing turn for you. I feel like there's an amount of clarity that you're going to receive due to some kind of rays of consciousness where you are kind of, you know, deflecting and staying away from negativity and really kind of embodying your most, how do I put it, positive higher version of yourself like you've kind of surrendered to a positive state I have the king of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck you're definitely in a different part of your life where things are starting to settle down for you um maybe you are more like a leader of a team and people are starting to kind of see that you are someone who works really hard for whatever it is you are gaining this stability this security that you're having and i feel like there's definitely something here where people are maybe seeing that they want to have something with you i don't know if you know venus and leo is causing people to gravitate to you but there's definitely something here about people competing for your interest in some kind of way there's some kind of compatible partnership that you are going to be kind of encountering yeah we have the ten of cups under the king of pentacles maybe it was the people in the past that were non-committal but i see here Taurus, that you are definitely becoming more comfortable with yourself with life good vibes are flooding in and i don't see anybody who's trying to compete where they can't compare being able to knock you off your throne. I see you being able to sit comfortably, knowing that you bring a lot to the table. I'm hearing you are the table. Someone's going to be trying to try again with you. Something that failed. Um, there's something about this person had to refocus, regroup. So this could be a job, an ex-lover, or someone that used to have some kind of interest in you. But it's something about somebody wanting you to come back for another round of something. Some of you may be thinking about moving residence or getting ready to maybe, you know, relocate. Some situation where the police are involved this month for some tourists. I'm not really sure what that is, but some legal issues, a legal matter. And I'll draw more on that. Take a break from this, them, that. Um, this is different. And again, refocus your energy. Redesign, alter, modify, redirect, re-envision. So there's something here where you're needing to practice some kind of self-control. Something here with... Um, Somebody definitely trying to see what's going on with you and your family. So there may be some drama 
with a family member, I feel like, um, where the police are involved in some kind of way. And it's like you may have cut these people off or distance yourself from whatever this is in some kind of sense because there was some kind of unhappiness. And so now you're, you know, kind of not focused on it and you're directing your attention elsewhere. And as you've done that, you worked hard here with the King of Pentacles and now we have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, you're moving forward. There may be something here with a turning point in Cancer season with a chariot, but you're having the willpower and the energy to break through any obstacles that have been in your way. Maybe someone has tried to block you or create some kind of obstacle for you in the past um, where they may have, you know, involved the police. Or it may have been something where, you know, lawyers or some kind of situation where, you know, there was a matter that needed to go to court and you kind of, you know, didn't want to be involved. Some family member, maybe some lover, because we do have the lovers here. But I feel like there was a situation where someone had to cut you off because there was something with the or you had to cut somebody else off because there was something that they were doing that was kind of hot you know something that had the police's interest maybe they even had the police worried about you to see what you and your involvement with them was but there's something here Taurus with some kind of legal matter where you had to take a break from someone and they had to get their stuff together you had to get your stuff together and now I saw like whatever it is it didn't this drama didn't want to stop this person from coming back. This is someone who's coming back trying to be dependable. Like maybe they were inconsistent and reckless in the past, but this is someone who's kind of trying to settle down now. And maybe they had some kind of lust or temptation that they were trying to present to try to get you um, to, you know, deal with them in the past. But now they're coming back in July wanting to make better choices, wanting to, you know, show you that they want to, you know, love you unconditionally. There's something here about, yeah, the six of swords is here. This person had to walk away from something. They may be saying that they're trying to move closer to you. This may have been a long distance situation, but yeah, there may have been some kind of situation where this person had to involve the police. Maybe with their family or some situation they were trying to distance themselves from. It could have been something I'm doing with an inheritance or some property. There was something where the police had to defuse the situation. And you didn't want to be involved in it. This person clearly didn't want to be involved in it either. And so whoever this is, it's a job or, you know... A ex lover, ex friend, ex family member, or something about them wanting to try to come about this a different way. And we'll see what the other clarity cards are saying. Or maybe Taurus is like, you have to call the police because you don't want to deal with this person. It's going to resonate for everyone differently. But for whoever this is for, this is about a situation where. It could have been someone that was very close to you, some kind of soulmate. It could have been a brother, sister, cousin, mother, father, where the police got involved. And it might have been something with a Gemini, a Cancer, or um, was there any other major cards? Or a Leo, yeah. And... Typically, I feel like it has something to do probably with some money or something where, again, it's property. But we have the Magician energy here for more clarity. We have the Ace of Pentacles, and we also have the Page of Pentacles. So there's definitely something here about someone seeing that they have the power to kind of change and alter, create the reality where they want an opportunity to be able to present you with something or maybe you're wanting to present yourself with something that um you've learned a lesson here on how to you know create the kind of life that's going to be able to offer long-term success it's like you kind of went to a dark place I feel like and you are kind of in this ace of pentacles like this situation is being presented to you someone's about to try to give you some kind of 
see the potential to bless you with the opportunity to be able to, you know, get away from any destructive patterns, any destructive people. There's definitely somebody or something that's been at a distance where you've kind of had to be at a crossroad. They had to be at a crossroad and decide what direction they want to go with this. And I feel like you've stood your ground. You've kind of knew your intuition that somebody from the past may be trying to tell you the truth or give you some kind of clarity about something that you may have been worried about. And I feel like the police may even, again, be trying to tell you more about this or have um, you kind of been wondering if this is something where um, if it's not the police, some kind of lawyer or authority figure, solicitor, some kind of person that um, helps kind of get you from being tricked out of whatever this is that you've been owed. Uh, again, it's going to be different for everyone, but whatever it is, it's going to be able to bring you to a very creative, fast, new spark of, you know, creative energy where you're able to see a new start and a new flame ignited in your life where you may have, you know, kind of had to use your discernment, your wisdom to keep your emotions balanced and maybe even keep some things to yourself that you felt strongly about. But there's definitely something about you getting some peace, being able to have some kind of answered prayers here because you've had to take a break from whatever this is so that you wouldn't be irritated, have your mind, you know, impulsively in all these different directions. You've had maybe to learn how to be more grounded and stable with your energy and be more present. And I feel like there's definitely some kind of hard blessing that you've had to learn and how to avoid shady. And I feel like that some of you may have had someone doing some kind of sorcery or magic on you so that you wouldn't be able to have this opportunity. But Spirit God is here saying that what's for you, no one can take this away and that you were always destined to have this. And you have to go through whatever this is, um, that may have been hard to go through in order to be able to fully appreciate what you're about to be presented with here by the end of the month. Um, there's definitely something about you being determined and persevering and reading in between the lines so that you can release yourself from something from the past. So let's get some advice for you, Taurus. And actually, um, the Ten of Wands is your advice for tarot with the nine of cups at the bottom you're almost to the end of a long and arduous chapter of your life and the message is not to give up you're almost to the finish line i know a lot of things have been piling up trying to make you tired but uh all this is only making you stronger honestly and maybe you need to take some time to rest regenerate and again, like they were saying, refocus, figure out other ways that you want uh, your month to go or what it is you want to see manifest for you. Because there's definitely someone that's trying to approach you by the end of the month that cares about you or cares about getting your attention. So let's see what the moon oracle is saying for Taurus advice for July. For sun, moon, rising, Venus. A fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. So be prepared for a turning point. If things haven't been going ideally how you want them to go, there may be something coming around. This kind of makes me think of this five of wands energy where, you know, things may be a little um, frantic, a little chaotic, but uh, it's for a good reason. For a new start to come, new moon. So be focused on what you want to see manifest. This is a big yes card. Whatever it is you've been worried about, the answer is yes. But uh, nothing, no pressure, no diamonds. Nothing comes easily. So whatever this is, it's going to be worth whatever you've had to go through. New moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. I feel like you'll find more answers within than you will um, out of whatever it is you've been, you know, 
kind of worried and wondering about. The best answers are going to come when you uh, meditate and really think within yourself, spending time with yourself, introspection. Full moon in Pisces, balance, spirituality, and practicality. So definitely, you know, believe in the unexpected, but also be reasonable and don't, uh, you know, be in a state of daydreaming and never try to do something to ground whatever your intentions are into reality. You need to ground those intentions and bring them out of the sky. I'm seeing like the seven of cups. Um, there's so many, don't overwhelm yourself with choices. Narrow it down and narrow it down to something that's achievable, achievable bites. So we're going to spin the dice and see what uh, zodiac signs will be encountering you for this month. So we have Gemini energy here, um, which isn't surprising since we had the magician and the lovers. We have Cancer here. And who else do we have? And we also have Aries. So Gemini, Cancer, Aries are in your energy. All four that are in the first modality of the Zodiac. So be looking out for that, Taurus. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your July. Um, take what resonates, leave what does not. And go ahead, like, share, subscribe to the channel. All right, Taurus.